that I, so I, I quit and I went back to RCC full time. So. Yeah, I went there too, but I don't remember seeing you. <laughs> yeah, I went there. When yeah. well, that, that last semester, I could have graduated too and decided that I stuck around because I really liked choir. Okay. Yeah, you were in chorus, so. I was, <laughs> and um, I took classes in the afternoon at RCC, so I did both. Oh, oh. that's a good idea. So I could stay for prom and all those things you do that last semester when you're a senior. I didn't want to miss any of that. Yeah, I didn't do prom ever. <clears throat> I didn't so either. It just wasn't anything that I wanted to stick around for. And, and actually, most of my friends in the beginning were, in 10th grade, were seniors because my best friend was a senior and I hung out with her and all her friends. Well, then they graduated and left and went off to school or whatever. And I still hung out with her friends and she yeah. was at UCI and so I kind of hung out down there a lot with her and so um, I did make more friends afterwards at school but you know it was mostly out people that had already graduated so well is it a relatively <laughs> recent phenomena I know that that um, that uh, a lot of times at least here in New Mexico in high school, you can attend both high school classes and college, junior college. That's and what I did. At the same time. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my, my older son, because we were in Minnesota at this point, my older son, we homeschooled him because he was just, they didn't have gifted where he was going to school. And he did 11th and 12th grade at the community college. So his community college classes counted for both high school and college so oh. we went off to, nice. when he went away to college he was um 17 years old and he was a junior in college wow okay. that. that was a maturity problem <laughs> he now has his phd so i you know he outgrew that wow. good for him yeah yeah well, yeah actually great. steve you and 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 vicky and margie and i went to the prom together in our junior, our junior year, their senior year. Yeah, our junior year, their senior year. And I, uh, we were just looking at pictures the other day and uh, came across that one. Oh, so yeah. I'll, have to, I'll have to scan it and send it to you. I've, I've got some hidden way. I, I did prom and midwinter in our jun junior year uh -huh. and did nothing our senior year. I guess I was um, unattached, <laughs> unaffiliated. Finished. Yeah. <laughs> I went with uh, Linda Kramer, but you know her maid, her married name is Monhay now, and uh -huh. she was dating Jack Morrow, and went with them. Oh, so yeah, she's broken Jack. a few hearts through high school, I think. <laughs> Jack just just gave a picture to me the other day, and so he's got a picture up on the. Uh, uh, he the was in my wedding. He, we used to double date all the time. So uh, yeah, so kind of lost track of him though but I saw him at one of our little mini reunions you know, about four years ago or so. Oh at the Mission Inn? Yeah at the Mission yeah. Inn. Yeah it was fun. So Mr. Cotter you're very quiet. You're smiling. What, what's wow. going on in your life? What uh, this is the first time a lot of us have seen you live. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> live. <laughs> that's true. Um, the, uh, after high school, I went to UC San Diego, uh, became a teacher, retired in 2014. Uh, I have two sons, uh, married, going on 42 years. Um, and I live in Carlsbad uh, in San Diego County. Oh, okay. Uh, so Mike and I play football together. Uh, or Keith, I'm sorry. Uh, and I play football together. Um, and Mike is my neighbor down the street. That's right. Uh, and so uh, we were in student government together. And so it's, um, I came to the 10 year reunion. And, and after that, you know, I figured I'd been gone for so long that nobody would want to see me anyway. So uh, <laughs> the, 50 year, the 50 year to me means a lot. And so uh, the fact that uh, we're still here for starters and, um, uh, and that a lot of people aren't. And so, uh, and I have good memories of high school. I mean, I was really a new guy uh, at Ramona my sophomore year. I came in from Banning, of all places, and right before that from Massachusetts. 
So, um, you know, I remember um, the way I dressed at that time, uh, <laughs> wingtips, tough pants, collared shirts. Uh, so I <laughs> up so much. Uh, and so, uh, so slowly I made the transition, but um, it took a while. Uh, it was much more formal going to high, going to what was junior high school uh, in Massachusetts. So, anyway, so you were a year in Banning. I was uh, I'm actually just three months in Banning. Oh, okay, okay. And then I, you, I remember you really had a strong you had a strong uh, uh, Massachusetts you know saltwater uh, accent. <laughs> yeah. What did, you, what did you teach, John? Uh, I taught elementary school. Oh, um, what, what grade? Mostly third grade. Um, wow. And so it was a good transition year. The kids were old enough to be able to do some things, and yet they hadn't developed an attitude yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a good, a good time. Uh, I taught for 39 years and, uh, wow. so, and loved it. I mean, I just felt like I never went to work. I just went to be with kids. So um, I taught in Encinitas. Uh, I don't know if some of you know that community, um, but um, you know, I've been really blessed to be able to live near the coast and um, and you know see the beach all the time and that sort of thing. So that's really meant a lot. Um, and yet I had a really good experience in Riverside. Um, you know, I had good high school years, um, and Ramona was a huge high school. Uh, I think at the time we had almost three thousand students. Uh, yeah. And so, and it was a newer high school. Um, so, and I always thought it was a beautiful campus. Uh, so what I'd like to be able to do, um, I don't know, maybe if we do something next year in, 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 in person, is to be able to maybe go, if they have a, a football game that weekend that's at the Ramona Stadium, um, to be able to put together maybe a group to go to a game. Um, I believe the last time I was there in, in Riverside, um, one of my parents had died. I think it was my mom. Um, and we were making funeral arrangements. But I went to uh, drive by the high school and then did a search online. And I think Ramona shares the stadium with one of the other high schools. I don't think it's just the Ramona Stadium anymore. I think it's no, just it's Arlington. It's, it's, a regional, it's a regional stadium. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's not just for Ramona football games. Right. Um, so I'm guessing that was a smart use of money because the stadium field was beautiful. I think it's a, an all-weather turf. Um, but it's been a few years since I've been there. So I have to say I don't miss the Um But I think it's probably better now than it was in the late 60s, early 70s. Oh, geez, yeah. No. <laughs> Hey, we have someone else who joined us. He has not unmuted himself, but Mr. Dunbar, Sandy, turn your, your phone or your iPad uh, landscape. The, yep, well, yeah, there you go. There we are. Hey, and uh, we want you to turn your, uh, uh, I don't know if your microphone is what I'm trying to get you to unmute. Uh, can you find the, the, the button on there to be able to turn your microphone on or add Add the sound. Here it goes. Yeah, there we go. So where does everybody live? I know where you live, Steve. <laughs> we all I'm not in Hawaii, but yeah. No. Where does everybody live? I'm in Seattle. <laughs> wait, 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 one at a time. Who? Keith? I'm in Seattle, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. I'm in, I'm in Texas. McKinney, right? Or nearby? Yeah. Pat? Yeah. Prosper, yeah. Prosper, okay, yeah, yeah. My brother and uh, uh, sister-in-law and their family lives there in the McKinney. Yeah. In the Prosper yeah. area. I live in uh, Dana Point in Southern California. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Yvonne, I'll, I'll just call you uh, Yvonne, where do you live? I live in Mission Viejo, and I, um, I retired last year. I was a general music teacher for 25 years. Wow. So wow. I just, uh, wow. Just retired last year. It's been nice. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have two daughters. I am. I am divorced. That's okay. So, uh, and I'm a, a caregiver for my dad. So. Nice. Good yeah, it's nice. How old is he? He's how old is he? I thought I saw something in his. Is he in his late nineties? Uh, no, he's he's ninety. 
Okay. Yeah, he's 90, yeah. yeah. Well, that's hard work. God bless you. We, yeah. We took, yeah. yeah, thank you. We took care of my, uh, my husband's parents. We moved them in with us, and they were 99 and 94 when they passed. And that wow. was hard, hard work. <laughs> yeah, it is. Norm, yeah. You live, in, you, you live in Riverside, Norm? I do. Vicki and I, we live in Riverside, and actually our children graduated from Ramona High School, too. Oh, oh my darn. Wow. And, wow. Uh, and our daughter lives up uh, in Washington. We're going up there next Sunday for our grandchildren's birthdays. And we have a son that lives in Flagstaff. And, uh, but no, we've, we've, we've hung, around, uh, hung around Riverside here for uh, all this time. We've been married 48 years, so, you know. Oh, wow. That's great. Barbara, you're in Riverside, right? Yeah, I'm in Riverside. Yep. And, uh, my kids all went to Polly, though. <laughs> oh, what a traitor. <laughs> I <Yeah>. know. <laughs> well, Ramona just wasn't quite the same, you know, and we had moved and we no, Polly's great. Polly just <laughs> Yeah. Well, Ramona still has a good reputation. Both of both of our children have been very successful with their uh, diploma from Ramona High School. So yeah, that's good. Mr. Dunbar, you're in Idaho, right? Wait, wait. You you're muted, but you're mute. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, your microphone is on, but we can't hear you. Turn the volume up. Maybe. Yeah, I was going to say turn the volume up. Oh. Hmm. He's working on it. Well, how about Annie? You're in, uh, you're in, in by L.A., right? I'm in Los Angeles County. I live in Bellflower, which is oh. north of Long Beach. Can you hear me? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Barely. You're kind of soft. <laughs> You need one of these. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how many of you remember Bruce Walker. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, will, uh, he uh, moved his mother up to uh, Seattle, Washington area this weekend. And, oh, and really? he's expected here at my house for dinner and to stay overnight in about two and a half hours. Oh, so, oh fantastic. He lives in Flags. He, I will. He lives in Flagstaff, Arizona, and he retired a couple of years ago um, from being a mailman. Right. A, oh, good. Oh, okay. Instead of a female impersonator, he's a mailman. <laughs> 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 they call them letter carriers, don't they? Uh, that's the uh, politically correct or the uh, gender neutral. <laughs> but I'll extend him your greetings. Thank you. Yeah, say hi for all of us. He had a particularly good photograph for the uh, then and now. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. He looked real 60s in, the, uh, in his now photograph, and he looked <laughs> it was the 50s, 50s era in his, in his early picture. If I could find one as good as his, I'd probably send it. You mean, you mean a now picture? A now picture, yeah. All you need is one of those uh, wigs, Norm. That's all. Just oh, the, rain the rainbow ones. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandy, I don't know if we got your sound yet, do you? No sound. No sound. Um, Bummer. Shake here. Give me a give me a, a nod. Yes. Are you using an iPhone? For an iPhone? Yes. That's the yes. Okay. So look under. Let me think here. You got to look under settings. Uh, hold on. Then go to Zoom. Oh, no, wait, there's, there's two places to look. Uh, uh, under settings and go to the very bottom, yeah, where it has Zoom, down the very bottom, down here, and check whether your microphone is on. And then the other place to look is in privacy, actually because that's where you say you, you give permission for an application. So privacy is like, whoops, right here, under the battery. And then microphone is on there. And from that, 
you go look and make sure that of all your apps, Zoom is on the bottom. Make sure that that one is also turned on. And uh, that was that was learned the hard way with half an hour with with uh, Yvonne trying. That was me. There but was one little It was thing. good. I, Yvonne, I knew that we would get somewhere with that. Yeah, I was so glad I called you because <laughs> so I'd be able to join you guys. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I'm going to cut out. We're going to meet uh, another Ramona graduate, actually a 67 graduate, Vicky's sister, and her husband for dinner. We're actually going to go out and see what's happening out there. Where are you going? Uh, to Romano's. Oh, to oh the good. To, good. To the casual side, though. Good. Right. Yeah. No, there's, yeah. There's Riverside in phase two. Yeah, we're, yeah. In we're in phase two. In fact, uh, we just got a we just got a an email saying that uh, uh, twenty four hour fitness, which is where we go for our aqua aerobics, is looking to open up here before too long. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, say for, say hi to Ginny from me because I think I, I posted I posted some pictures on the uh, uh, concert choir Madrigal uh, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, the summer of 68 when I went with uh, uh, Ben Bollinger up to um, Sacramento for the Cal Expo and she joined to go up on this bus trip and so uh, I, I'm trying to remember what else I what other interaction I had with her but I remember her as well even though she was graduated before I got there. Was Vicki on that uh, trip to Sacramento too? Yep. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm sure she'll remember that so yeah. you know. Yeah. All right, Steve. Thanks for that. You do, you do wonderful. Good way, Norma. Yeah. Keeping us, uh, keeping us all informed. So thank well, you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. You're doing nice a great job, Norm. <laughs> well, whatever we can do. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Okay. All right. Safe. Hi, Norm. <laughs> so, and Gail, you're just taking taking uh, uh, notes, right? <laughs> Of how, how to do stuff like this. <laughs> oh, I actually, I've got, I've got some going today, and there's a, I'm getting like helicopters going by my house overhead, so I don't know what's going on, but uh, oh. we're kind of on the on the the sheriff and the fire helicopter path. So. Oh no! Wow. So where is that, Gail? Oh, I'm in Hemet in Riverside County, oh, okay. out in the out in the country. So, but I don't know if any of you are interested about hearing anything about Ramona itself. But uh, a year ago, last fall, I went back for the dedication of the auditorium. They have um, they upgraded it, the auditorium to um, uh, in memory of Maxine Frost, who was the president of the school board when we were there. And Ramona's become a magnet for the performing arts program. Oh wow! In, huh. in, in Riverside, and I tell you, um, you know, I don't know about you, but as you get older, you go to some places and you feel like they're a lot smaller than they were when we were smaller and they seemed so big. But I tell you, that that auditorium to me is still pretty darn big. And yeah. they, they've <laughs> upgraded. They, they have um, a hydraulic uh, pit for the orchestra. They have Mine. a state-of-the-art sound system. It, it, uh, it would do us all proud, especially the people that were in choir and drama. And the whole campus really looks sharp. It, it really wow. did. Well, thanks for sharing that, Mike. Sure. Uh, I, I remember, didn't the auditorium when we were there hold like a thousand people or no, 800 no, seats or something? 500. Really? I thought it was more yeah, because I thought you know, the, the whole student body was probably about 2,400 and we could get people in there, I think, for three, three assemblies. No, it wasn't, it wasn't close to that. Landis Auditorium at that time at RCC slash Poly was the biggest auditorium in the city, to, to my knowledge. Okay. But I mean, hey, it's still pretty darn big. And 
you know, I used to be on the stage a lot and looked out and it looked every bit as big as it ever was. Yeah. <laughs> is, is Landis still there? Is it still a working auditorium? Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. They have Do any of you remember the, the sixth grade sing at Landis? If any of you went to, you know, in Riverside when we were in sixth grade, they had a two-day affair where half the sixth graders in the city would go and then the other half. It was Mrs. Landis led us in singing. I remember ah. that. I remember ah. that. Yeah. Ah. It was cool. It was fun. We didn't have to go to class. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Any excuse not to do that. <laughs> now, Sandy, can you talk? I think I can talk now. Yes. Hey. All right. hey. Thanks. So tell us, tell us about your life and what are you doing? Um, I'm getting ready to retire next month. Um, been married for 46 years. Like you mentioned, I used to be in Idaho. I was in, I was responsible for the Medicaid program for the state of Idaho for uh, wow. six years, and then uh, got lucky enough to get promoted to a, a senior vice president of our company here in, in California called Molina Healthcare. And, oh, sure. uh, and so it, it's just time for me to retire. So yeah, next month is my official day of retirement uh, here. And I live in San Diego. Where? Nice. Yeah. What part of San Diego? Uh, I live in Escondido. Okay, I South live in Carlsbad. Oh, Carlsbad, there you go. Just down oh. the road from me. We yeah. need to get together for a beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But uh, very lucky. Been married forty six years to the same wonderful woman, and uh, with two kids and two grandchildren. So very blessed. Been very lucky and very blessed man. Good for you. Sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Nice. So I mean, I'm looking here. I see, you know, that. Uh, so uh, John and Sandy and I were on activities board, and and Mike was USB president. I'm trying to think who else. Was there? It was like, yeah. I to to see Sandy. It's like, oh, you were the you were the activities board president, weren't you, Sandy? I was. I yeah. was. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be uh, voted there. Yes, uh, I wasn't very good. I wasn't very good at it. I wasn't very good at it, but I was there. Yes. But it was like missing a class. I mean, you didn't have, you, you went to activities yeah. board stuff, and uh, that was a class, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I just remember. Uh, I don't remember the gentleman's name that was in charge of us uh, for the activity board, but uh, <laughs> Dale Favier. Yep. Oh, there Dale Favier. Yeah, he, Dale Favier. That's right. Yeah, he's passed on. He, yeah. He's not with us anymore. Oh, my gosh. Wow. He was a um, character. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us he was a character, Mike. You knew him pretty well, didn't you? <laughs> he was, uh, it was his first year at Ramona. And, uh, yeah, I think he got more than he asked for. And, it, <laughs> yeah. Wasn't his, wasn't his, uh, um, his ambition to be a... Was it Herf Jones that sells the rings? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he ended up <laughs> selling rings. And, I mean, he never actually graduated. He graduated from high school, but he never left high school. Right. And I went back to see my um, sister uh, at a football game. Uh, oh, I was after college, probably about 10 years, seven or eight about eight years after we uh, graduated. And here he was announcing the football game. He was the paid <laughs> announcer <laughs> the Ramona Rams. <laughs> That's okay. <hell>. Yeah. <laughs> but well, I know that he didn't have, I know that he didn't have much a... from us. He learned as much from us as we learned from him, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't have much faith in me. He predicted that I would be a nobody. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. brutal. That that is brutal. I mean, I've I've heard that about uh, you know some some teachers or advisors like that's you know <laughs> it, it, it may, it's it's more opinion than 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 truth. So I would I'd be careful what you say about people. You know? Yeah, yeah, well, don't forget it. And we live in different times now too. Yeah, I mean, true. You, this just wouldn't fly in today's PC world. Um, but, but at any time, you know, it shouldn't have been said. Uh, so, so remind me who was, uh, this made me think of, of, uh, Mr. Crow, 
uh, was he attendance? I mean, who who struck fear in uh, just the sight of him? Who struck fear in your heart when you saw them? <laughs> yeah. You're yeah, laughing. He, he was attendance. <laughs> I tend to remember the teachers I liked, not the ones I didn't like. That's that's a good thing to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the same way. Um, but uh, who, Mrs. Um, who was the lady who taught geometry? Uh, oh, yeah. An older lady at that time, real short. Yeah. Um, and yeah. and she, I forget her name, but I mean, she was one of those people who could put the fear of God into you. Yes. But she was an excellent geometry teacher. Yeah. I got yeah, along with her really Mrs. well. Hansen? It was Mrs. Eads. Mrs. Eads. Yes. Oh. She taught yeah. geometry? Yeah. Yes. Mr. Oh, Eads. She, oh. I had, I think I had um, Mr. Peterson as well for geometry, who, uh, he did the yearbook. He was a yearbook advisor, but I thought he, that rings a bell. Okay, got to go get the yearbook. <laughs> do, do any of you remember Fred Herring? Yeah. Absolutely. No. Fred Herring, uh, he went to Sierra and um, he was in the band and he was a wrestler. He was a small guy. Well, he lives in New Zealand, and he and I talk, oh, for about an hour last week. We talk about once a month or so. <laughs> here, I'll get, I'll get uh, Fred's picture up here. Herring, 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 H. H-A-E-R. Yeah. There he is. There he is. I can't remember any of this. I'm, I can't remember any of this, and I uh, don't have a year. Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy right here. Oops, that's, no, this guy right here. That's yeah. Freddie. Yeah, that's pretty. Huh. Same oh. year, I, I had lunch with Ronnie Brown about a year ago over in Phoenix. Yep. I'm still close friends with Ron Brown. Ron <laughs> Brown and I are still close friends, and I see him every year. We go to spring training baseball together. He but not this year. He told me you were his best friend. <laughs> yeah, we're still best friends to this day. We've been <laughs> best friends since uh, seventh grade. Wow. Uh, that's cool. You know, I'm gonna I'm Sorry. gonna create something on Facebook. I want in our group. I want I put some graduation pictures up today, but I want to get <laughs> pictures that people have of of their years when they were high school age and with their friends. And I think I've seen pictures of of you, Sandy, and a few other people, uh, shirtless and really short shorts and all that kind of <laughs> stuff, and yeah. either down <laughs> the desert, down the desert, or out the beach, something like that. I need to get those all like in one place on Facebook okay. where people can look at those. Because that's, uh, I've got one. Okay, I'm going to hold this one up. I'm going to scan this one in. But this is, uh, let's see, Gary wow. Stewart wow. and oh, uh, yeah. uh, Bruce Berg. Craig, Craig Walker, Scott Berg, Gary Stewart. Gary lived right down the street from me. Craig Walker, Bill, um, Bill, what's his name? <laughs> it's not Bill Thompson. Bill Thompson in the middle, Thompson. in the back. No, is that I, Bill? I don't think so. Okay. That is. It is. Okay. That's Gary Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. That's all the Shima that's the Shimawa gang. No, yeah. okay. No, Craig Craig Walker was at the Sierra. Oh, did he? If he was, even if he even went to junior. Yeah, Craig Walker was at Sierra. But the rest of them Stewart. Okay. Thing. So, so how do you want these? Yeah. Um uh, email them to me, or I'm going to create a uh, uh, an album. And hopefully, if I create an album in the group, and uh, frankly, as it wasn't, uh, it was um, Bob Thompson was um, making some inappropriate posts on our Facebook page, and I had to block people from being able to make posts, and I would I silently rescinded that so now anybody can post whatever they want i can delete it but um <laughs> hopefully if i make if i make a an album it's not just owned by me it's it's for the whole group and people can then just put pictures in it so you go to it and you click the uh, you open the album and you add photos and then uh, we'll just get people to label them and give some story about it and people can comment on them individually just like they are doing with the then and now pictures I have a couple of pictures from Shamawa of some friends that I think 
most of them all wound up at Ramona. Um, do you want those too? Sure. Or yeah. I mean, right. it's, it's the, and so that's, I, I can relate to um, uh, what John said because interestingly enough, John, you were in Banning only three months, but I was just down, yeah. down the valley in uh, Palm Springs. I grew up down there and I also I that. Moved, moved to Riverside just at the beginning of our sophomore year. Okay. And everybody thought I was from the other, the other school. <laughs> and so, I, but, um, you know, I don't have, the, the connection with with all the people like the people who grew up in Riverside mm -hmm. know yeah, all, me neither. You know, grew up in elementary school yeah. and then so they they've been lifelong friends with kids like that yeah, yeah at our 10-year reunion and whenever my husband went with us we've been married 42 years and he's come to several of the reunions and he's always said it's a kindergarten reunion because there's so many people <laughs> there I, I knew Pat, Pat Arnold, and I've just, there's lots of people that I knew from kindergarten that oh, went all the way through high yeah. school together. So, yeah. Well, yeah. I wasn't That's, born there. Well, you can't uh, buy that, you know? No. Um, I, my, my younger son got married this last uh, June. Actually, it'll be a year on the 27th, but it was in Bali, Indonesia. Wow. And oh, wow. they, they can only let 50 people come to the wedding. That's the, the wedding venue is only would accommodate 50 people. So uh. the bride, his wife, Tara, um, um, she had mostly family. He had mostly friends and a good number of his friends. He's mm -hmm. 34, uh, but a good number of his friends who are at Here's the wedding. <laughs> he, he, uh, they had known each other since kindergarten. <laughs> um, and they went through the school where I taught and um some of them and uh and you know they all played sports together and went their different ways went to college and all that but still it was amazing to have yeah. people there that you'd known since they were babies um yeah. so it was pretty fun yeah they're like family <laughs> yeah uh, well and you know like uh, some of their parents were teachers um that my wife and i met when we were all young and new in the school district and we've known them for the better part of, I don't know, almost 50 years. Um, well, about 45 years. Um, and so uh, it's neat to know people for that long in your life. And, and to maintain connections like that too, yeah. 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 Anybody remember Patty Carboni? Yes. No. Yeah, well her son, Kevin, is my son Adam's best friend. And they've been, I mean, Pat and I were um, pregnant together. We lived two doors down from each other. Wow. So, you know, it's like two wow. generations. Well, and, and so when, when I got married, I got married right out of high school to Don O'Neill. Um, oh, yeah. And we moved into a duplex and moved into the front apartment. Patty Carboni and her husband were behind us. Oh, funny. Oh, isn't that <laughs> the world? Yeah, I remember the first day I figured out that who she was, that she lived there, was her older son, Rob, Robbie at the time, um, Rob now, um, he came knocking on the door, and I, my daughter, my oldest one, was only 10 months old when we moved there, and I answered the door, and he said, do you have a kid that I can play with? <laughs> <laughs> He told me where he lived and you know and I went down there and met his mom and I'm like, oh Patty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. Mm -hmm. All world. So yeah, and I uh I've been keeping up primarily through Facebook uh with kids that I grew up down in the desert in Palm Springs Cathedral City. And I just friended a new one. Uh, about a week ago, it's like we, we both said we knew of each other but didn't know each other in high school because I was there as a freshman. And so, but it's like I, I went to their, uh, um, it would be our 39 slash 40 year reunion with the class of 69 in Palm Springs. Wow. And the funny thing with that is I hadn't seen many of them in over 40 years and they were all frozen in my mind at like eighth grade. You know, yeah. just puberty. Yeah. <laughs> just like, and right. some of them, some of them I went to elementary school with 
I could pick them out in a crowd and say, I know exactly who you are because it was the eyes, it was the face. Things did not change. And it was really, really interesting to have that experience. So, uh, you know, Facebook is good from that perspective of being able to still uh, engage and interact with people, even if it's like, you know, social media where it's, it's pretty, pretty superficial. Yeah. Superficial. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too. And Kim Castro goes, were you in concert choir with me at Ramona? <laughs> I go, yes. Yeah. So I, that's how I got back into seeing everybody, you know, the old high school buddies and coming to some of the little mini reunions and things. So that was nice. So. Yeah. So one thing I want to share with you guys is that I actually got a, uh, I, I got a call from Lori Joseph Sterling. Sure. And she is one of the, uh, <laughs> Sandy's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Tell us some stories about Lori, Sandy. I can tell you my stories. <laughs> That's okay. This is being recorded. That's okay. That's it is being recorded. That's why I knew that. But, uh, so, so anyway, I mean, we were talking about, she says, well, what are your guys' plans, maybe if you want to do a reunion next year when things settle down a bit and so forth? And uh, I can tell you one thing is that, is that Lori is what you would call your stereotypical type A personality. Very take charge. And... Uh, there were some things where I was saying, I'm going to hold back a little bit, but uh, for the most part, it was interesting. And one idea she had was to, to have a, uh, again, a, a potentially a joint, no, not this, no, or not this, a, a, a joint reunion um, you know, down at the, uh, the convention center in Riverside, but in essence have the ability to like partition it off so that their class is in a separate place from ours. And so we can clearly identify who's class of 70, who's class of 71. Um, but, you know, she has her ideas of how to do things. And, but they've been, they've been having reunions like every five years. So wow. we piggybacked with their 25 to have a 26. And then uh, we didn't do anything with them uh, after that. But they, she says they've been doing them every five years. So they have a very, um, a very good uh, cohesive group as well. But, yeah, we got this group going uh, after we didn't have our 30-year reunion. And we were able to uh, um, kind of using, back then it was like a Yahoo group and classmates before uh, um, um, uh, Facebook to develop enough and then just do something informally almost every year. Just try and get together for something and then use email to keep in touch. And I think we've, we've been able to at least, um, again, socially, have connection with people, uh, but I, I wish there were better ways to do more. But we'll see what you know, we do. It's so easy for just people to get lost, and one one address change is all it takes, and then boom, just disappear. And unless they surface, look their social media. I mean, it's virtually impossible to find them. They be living literally right next door to you, and you'd never know it. We do find them. Yeah, Carolyn and I have been working on this, and Carolyn is is the uh, I won't say a master; she's a mistress genealogist and sleuth, and and I do some of that too, and and actually found a um, uh, I don't want to say free; it's it's virtually free, but a way to find people, and I have found some people who've been lost for forty five years. Oh my God! Uh, I found. Um, Diane Takeda. I found Jackie Greer. Oh, really? Yeah. So I mean, Jackie Greer uh, and they, I took French together. Don't they don't know they don't know I found them yet. <laughs> Is Jackie have, in California? Yeah, they both are. I, and I found their mailing addresses. I and but I don't. The thing that I really need from people are email addresses because that's the best way to keep in touch when they move around. But I'm going to try and, and and send out postcards to the people that are not on the email list we have or that are on the email list but never read the emails and just send a card out saying we're not doing something for our 50 year reunion but I'm just double checking to see if I've got the right address for you and if so send me your email address and other information and we'll add your or update your information in the database but it's 
I agree with Keith though. It is it is stinking hard, especially to find people with common names, and you don't have a birthday, or you don't have a middle name, or you don't have something else to anchor it to them starting, because records generally don't go back that well to Riverside unless it's marriage records uh, or, or other things. If you don't know, you make a wild guess as to what year they were born, because we had some that quite a, quite a wide range, but generally 51 and 52 were the years that our people were born, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I was a 53. So I'm, tend, I'm an outlier. And I but. tend to find the dead ones. Yeah, and, and I, yes. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, really? It's really hard. It's hard yeah. emotionally because I keep finding the dead ones. <laughs> and, no, no. And you also find the ones that are in prison. I, yes, there, I've been finding, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Lately, lately, the ones that have been in prison or uh, oh. marshaled or... <laughs> Another one, I got another, uh, in fact, Carol, I got another one, uh, somebody looking for Billy Horn. H-O-R-N? Uh, huh? How do you spell the last name? Oh, you, we already talked about him. Oh, did we? we? His son's uh, 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 find a great site. But I said, funny you should ask, a number of other people asked about this particular individual, Bill Horn, Billy Ray Horn. Is the guy from Utah? He yeah. Went, okay, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we're uh, but again, Carolyn and I are, are are working together, and I just sent her the okay. list of uh, of lost people. But we're getting <laughs> more and more. We're finding people, and unfortunately, in, in some cases they're dead, and in some cases they're alive. So, uh, but as the years go by, the odds are they're going to be more uh, dead than alive. So right. So we don't know we can. So. Um, and we don't always find thing, the circumstances of their death just that they have passed. So yeah, in some cases we know that, and in other cases we, we kind of hold that back. It's not really yeah. necessary to know that. But I, I don't know if any of you have seen uh, or took a look at the, the map that I put together. Yeah, that was cool. That, that shows, <laughs> where every, it <laughs> it shows where everybody that we have an address for lives. Lives. Yeah. And yeah. but it doesn't have names. It has first initial, last initial, and then if you were or your maiden name initial, and then a married name initial. And someone wanted asked me to hide them from it or remove them from it. I said, okay, I'll do that this time. But for the most part, it really takes a lot of. It's it's hard to figure out where they are. But what's cool is to see that there are people who live not far from you. Yes. I'm Except so for me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's nobody here. There's a few, few down in southern New Mexico, but uh, uh, there's a, a whole lot still in Riverside, and it's just, yeah. just stunning. So I mean, um, on, in, the, in the link that I gave you that had the the, the link to the uh, uh, our Ramona High School webpage, uh, not the Facebook, but the, the web page that I created. Scroll down, you'll find map, click that one, and take a look at it and see who might live near, nearby you. And if you email me, I can even tell you maybe who some of those people are. Oh, wow. okay. But it is, it is surprising to, uh, to see some clusters. I mean, there's a bunch of people up in Oregon and Washington, and uh, um, <laughs> nobody, nobody in North Dakota for some reason. <laughs> and, and, so since you, there's no one very near you, does that make you an outlier? I'm, well, I'm kind of an outlier, but I'm not this this swath. In fact, let me let me see if I can uh, uh, get the page up and share with you guys if you haven't seen it before what it looks like, because it uh, uh, it is pretty interesting. To uh, let's see here, there. It's quite an exercise to put that together. Well, I, actually, that, it's yeah. not a lot as long as you've got the. Uh, uh, here we go. Let me do this. Let me do. No, I don't do that yet. Or do I? Uh, well, while he's yeah, doing that, Mike, it's work. great to see you. Thank you, Sandy. Good to see you. It's, uh, you know, uh, you're, if you're in Escondido, you know I'm in Dana Point. Yeah, you know I, I, I remember that. You've been in Dana Point for a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we believe it or not, we closed on uh, this house on 9 11. <laughs> oh man, oh wow, wow. in 2001? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh wow. But I mean, we, uh, I, I, 
we lived off and on here for a long time. But I was thinking, Sandy, I, I like Stone Brew, the Stone Brewery down there. You ever go to that? That's my son. My son loves that place too. Yes. <laughs> but so, how long have you been in Escondido, Sandy? You haven't been there that long. Well, no, I have been. I, I was here for probably uh, twenty years now, but then I moved away to Idaho for ten years. So I rented the house out because I knew we were going to come back after oh, Idaho. That we, that okay. This is where we wanted to be because our two kids and everybody lived here in San Diego, and we used to live down in. Uh, uh, Ocean Beach down in San Diego is where we used to live. Um, and my youngest son graduated from Point Loma High School. Wow. Beautiful area. Well, yeah. I'd be happy to meet you at the Stone Brewery. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you a beer. Okay, I'll take you up on it. <laughs> Give me a call, John, if you want to. I'd love to meet you, see you again, man. Same here, Mike. Yeah, the three of us ought to just plan that, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know if any of you know Leslie Phages. Do you remember Leslie yeah. Phages? Yeah. She lives in, um, she lives in Oceanside as well. Um, we just communicated a couple of weeks ago, and we're, we're, we're going to be getting together. Oh, Doesn't great. John Lamb live in that area, too? Yeah. Ooh. All right. I'm going to put the map up, and we're going to zoom in to, uh, oh, that's cool. to that area here. Oh, my gosh. Wow, look at that. Whoa. That's everybody in the San Diego area. My, oh, my. Here's wow. Carlsbad, and, and Mike is off the map up here. Here's, here's Mike right here. <laughs> okay. I gave you this location away. Uh, where? Look at all the people that live down there. Uh, wow. Nobody in Tijuana, but uh, a lot of, lot of people. Does it bring up a name if you click on? Let, uh, me, let me click on just, uh, well, I'll click on Mike's. I'll show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So Dana Point. Who's in San Clemente? I forget. Is this Mike? No, that's not Mike. Take it out. Paul, that's Paul. Oh, wow. Wow. Paul Somebody Turney, else. Paul Turney is in San Clemente. Yeah, I'm going to move in here a little bit more. Here he is right here. So that's – now, yeah. guess why that is Mike Agnew. What's his first wow. name? Not Mike. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> his legal name is Eric. Oh, no. That's another reason why people will generally not find it. But okay, they can see your address right here. It's not going to come by and, and egg or toilet paper your house, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but so here, I can also let me let me try this. Let me look for. I can search for uh, JC for John Cotter, and I bet this is him right here. Nope. Nope. That's Georgia. Oh, Never Georgia. mind. So, okay, so how, that's short, okay. Okay, C, C, oh, see, all 11 results. There we go. There's a bunch oh of them. Oh. Okay, so now it's going to be like click and guess. Oh it's going to be like 20 God. questions. Yeah. Is this you? No, that's Riverside. Uh -huh. <laughs> this one, Surprise, Arizona? No. See, and that's, again, why it's really hard to find people. Oh, my gosh. It could take hours and hours. Long, yeah, so you're, you're not going to be found. Santa Barbara. Uh, <laughs> Close anyway. to me. Let's see, did I get this one here? And I there he is. There, there he is. is. Yeah. Is that you? Yep. Wow, cool. We can, we can, uh, we can uh -huh. guide a bomb into your place. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this because this is being recorded. <laughs> and we don't want to, don't, don't want to uh, uh, cause you any grief. Well, how do we act? Oh, heck, I can. This is, let me, let me show you. Easily without this. Let me go back to. Let me it's see if I can do this here. Google Maps. It's a it's a it's a Google Map. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Are you screen sharing? Is that how you're doing? I'm it? screen sharing. Yeah. Let me go back here to. It's great. It's gonna be back over here. Um, so, if you can see, I'll go back. Here is the. Oh, sure. That's yeah. a 70 web page. Yeah. There we are. And in fact, while we're at it, let's take a look at the Now magazine <laughs> from back then. Oh, well, that's fun stuff. And this is <laughs> uh -oh. the cover. And I've, done is I've, I've put down who people are. This is Ray Hughes, <laughs> and obviously her boyfriend at the time, Danny. <laughs> And, and then uh, I can <laughs> go one page at a time. There's Carla Zert. Oh, Carla. oh, oh my gosh. I'm surprised she's not on. Oh, that's cool. She was on last time. 
Yeah. Let's see. So here again, this is these are scans that I blow. I have here what what's on here? The Honor Arch girls and people marching in, and then uh, here's the stands. There's the band. See, that's what I remember about yeah, graduation. That's what I remember yeah. too. That's what yeah. I remember. So here's people coming. Here's uh, uh, Jan Tingley Austin. Here's Al Odom. Here Good is basketball player. That is Mark Boyer right there. Oh my God! Yeah, Al, Al was a was a basketball player. Yeah. Wow. He's a baseball I heard from Mark player. Boyer, matter of fact, I heard from Mark. He just moved to Idaho. He just moved to Idaho. He moved to moved Idaho. To Idaho. I, I thought he was still in Riverside. Well, there's John Orr. John Orr and Bill Thompson. Ort. Laura Jones. Bill, Bill Thompson yeah. right there. Yeah, there's Bill. Bill Thompson. Oh, wow. Well. That's Bob Thompson. That's Bob, Bob right next to him there, yeah. There's Bud Kane. Kane. This is Rocco right here. Isn't it Rocco? Bud Kane. Isn't is Bud Kane uh, with Kevin Cushman left, there? Left side at the bottom. There's Bud. There's Kevin Laura. Cushman. There's uh, there's uh, uh, Debbie Jones, Dave Jones, Sharon Johnson, Randy Johnson, Warner Johnson. All right. Chris Keister and uh, Richard Kagey. Where's yeah. Chrissy Keister these days? She's up in uh, uh, the Seattle area. Up, uh, yeah, I figured she was in our area up here. Yeah, yeah. And here's more. Jackie Lash. Jackie Lash, John Lee. Jackie Lash, yeah. There's uh, uh, um, John Lamb. Yeah. Al Lambert. Wow. Barbara Landesina. There's Gerald Esgate. And who's he giving a diploma to? Mario Aguilar. You were, uh -huh. you were they just missed you, Mike. You were the. You were, <laughs> Mario, <laughs> you. Hey, we'll just see Mike here on another page. Let's take a look here. There he is. Yeah, so it's Mario, Mike, and Steve Adams. Steve Adams. <laughs> he was a character. He still is. He still is. <laughs> and now Marshall Allman. Oh, was a great quarterback. Yeah. Now here's me, me playing cards there with a Mario Aguilar. But I got to tell you something. I'm going to make a confession right here. This picture right here says unidentified hands playing cards. Yeah. That's me. That's Larry Young. Oh, is it? <laughs> See, I've got my I got my my gold honor cords on my there, but that was one where I I I intentionally left it unidentified playing hands. Oh, okay. But then this one who is uh, nice what? Who are say what? Who are the ladies here? Uh, let's see. Melanie Altman, Marsha Altman, and Bonnie Allen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bonnie Allen. Marsha and I hung out. We were. Yeah. We hung out for years together. Yeah. Oh. Is Doug Bauer here? Uh, he's. With the flower? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Doug Bauer. With the, yeah. Yeah. Doug Bauer with the flower. And there's Weston. <laughs> yeah. Let's That's see. Then I got uh, who else here? Oh, Shelly. Shelly uh -huh. Andrews. Shelly Andrews. Patrick Arnold. He, oh. he passed. Patrick Arnold. Yeah, yeah he's passed. Uh, members of the band. I've, I've known I, forever. I don't, I don't have the names for the people in the band. I'm sure I can get that. Oh, yeah. Let's see what else oh. here. Uh, Norm Hall. <laughs> yeah. Bob Norm Hall. Hall. Norm Hall yeah. Bob, yeah, Bob, <laughs> Bob Hofer with his bowler hat. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, I'm, I'm the, Facebook friends with Bob Hofer. Yeah, and he's he's up in Oregon. Well, and he he's been a like an international football coach, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. Uh, he's coached football for uh, professional football apparently overseas for some Amazing. length of time now. Um, and every once in a while, he puts a picture on of him playing golf or wanting to play golf with somebody. I know he plays golf. Oh. Wow. Huh. And that's huh. Becky Goodman right there. Looks like Mark Gottschall. And yeah. yes, Mark Gottschall. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the next one here. <laughs> Honor Arch Girl. Oh, there's there's Jan, right? That's my sister, Jan. Yeah, she's yeah. an arch. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, see, they're Honor Arch Girl. So I need a Brooks Flogger. I, yeah. I went to church with her, her family. I knew her family. Mariah Houston, Carol Schneider, Jan, Chris mm. Lee. Um, Sandy Rask, Michelle Cassidy, and Marie Blackman. I remember Marie. I remember, I remember Marie. I have a funny story about Sandy Rask. Okay. She's an RN, works at Kaiser. I was an RN working at Kaiser. And 
she used to come and work on our floor. She floated. And I knew her as Sandy Scamness. And one day I was working with her and I just happened to flash and I, I looked at her and I said, oh my God, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who you no were? <laughs> she was Sandy Rass. <laughs> <laughs> but we had the biggest laugh over that one. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh. There's Sherry Wag, isn't that Sherry, Sherry Wag? Wag yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. Jeff Walters. Yeah. Mark yeah. Flowers. Uh, this was, wait, that is Jim Brookshire, class of 69. Yeah. Debbie. yeah. Oh, Debbie's brother. And Gene, and Gene Johnson. Oh, I see. I saw Gene Johnson, uh, oh, more than 10 years ago up in uh, San Francisco. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's got a big, big Santa Claus beard now. <laughs> he rides a motorcycle. Wow. How oh, funny. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Who else? Oh, and this was a classic. Debbie Wood, right? Debbie Wood and Bruce Wood. Yeah. And I, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And I, think, I think that uh, – um, they made up the story because they obviously were probably sitting next to each other. <laughs> Rather than it says that uh, the good looking chick spitting fire and brimstone is Debbie. They put another good looking chick beside her boyfriend. It's like, well, he couldn't have been too far away because they're both, they're both name or wood. <laughs> Bruce and Debbie are probably like right next to each other anyway. Yeah, but, Bruce is no longer with us. No. Yeah. yeah. He was a hell of a baseball player. Yeah. He, uh, he had cancer, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. My, oh my. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that, Steve. Yeah. yeah I thought that'd be good. About, I mean, uh, showing the map and showing the now, I mean, I don't need to show the, we're not going to read all the names for the, uh, <laughs> the uh, well, actually, let me do that. I will. I, I'm going to bore you for a second. <laughs> Uh, because what I want to show is things that I had actually forgotten as well in the, in the uh, uh, transcription of the graduation program. Uh, no, actually, images. I'm going to pull this up, and I'm going to make this. Let's see if I can make it big. Yeah, okay. So to see who actually was involved in our uh, graduation ceremony. So... Right here, we've got, so Patty Duncan gave the invocation. Wow. And Eric Michael Agnew, USB president, gave the salute to the flag. All right. Good man. Pete Strobel sang the national anthem. I remember Pete Amazing. Strobel. Yeah. Uh, and then Robert. Rizzo. Renzo. Ken Renzo was, he was the, uh, uh, he, he, he spoke for uh, Class of 70. Yeah, he was our president. Norm Hall gave a presentation to the program. Now, Mike, tell me about Keith and Rusty McNeil and Clabe Hangman. What do you remember about them? Yeah, I, I was involved in the formulation of the, of the program. And um, I, I kind of thought that it was something untraditional something that might be memorable from a speaker because I mean, uh, graduation speakers, usually there's some boring politician or somebody. And so there's a lot of folk music going on and, and speaking, speaking to people of our generation. And I knew uh, Keith and Rusty McNeil and, and Clabe Hangen was a folk singer from the Folk Center in Claremont. And they, Keith and Rusty did educational programs. They, they go around to high schools and elementary schools. So we kind of told them what kind of message we, we would be appropriate looking to the future and talking about the past. And, and uh, the administration and our advisors um, let us do it. So that's, that's how that happened. Okay. That's, and I thought you'd wow. have that story. Yeah. Yeah. And do, does anybody remember their, their, uh, their message? Well, the last song, which Clay Hangin was kind of an unaccredited writer of, was Get Together. What, 
you know, the song that the Young Bloods made famous. Come on, yeah. people. Know. And, and, and that's how they ended. So, hell, as far as I'm concerned, that's how they could have begun, done it in the middle, whatever. That was all what it's all about. That's great. So, uh, Gerald Esgate was the principal, and, and it's, look at the names of the people who were giving out the diplomas. I remember I got mine from Jerry Esgate. Uh, we had Maxine Frost, as, as uh, Mike mentioned earlier, who was the she was a member of the board, but not the president of the board at that time, probably. Hey, Steve? Yeah. What, what, one other thing we did was, and I, I don't know if it has ever been done before, but we handed out a flower with each diploma mm -hmm. as well. Oh. Yeah, so as you saw in the pictures in the Now magazine, a lot yeah. of people have their, their carnations. Yeah. Right. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, I wonder how that yeah, happened. That, that, if that I, I don't think it had been done before. Were we supposed to give those flowers to our parents? I just I remember, because uh, I have a picture, I was looking for it today, I couldn't find it, with my dad, with me giving him the flower. And if I remember right, that's, we, they were given to us, and then we were supposed to give them to our parents as a thank you. Might be, yeah. Yeah, cool. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So then the, uh, the, the names were read by uh, the three class sponsors that we did have over the years, uh, Jean McKeever, or Meredith Jean McKeever, uh, Jean Knott, both of them have passed. Well, yeah. John Dabney was our uh, uh, sponsor in our sophomore and junior year, and I believe he's still alive like out in the Valley. And then uh, Dale Fager, there's the name of uh, the guy that uh, said Sandy would never make anything of himself. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, I had, oh, please reserve applause until the close of the presentation. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then <laughs> alma mater, so Stuart Smith, Stu Smith. So both Stu and, and uh, Pete Strobel were in the choir and madrigals. And so I was, I, I had not remembered this until I read the, uh, uh, yeah. the program recently. He said, oh, they both sang at it. Yeah. And oh, here, cool. here's a list of the, uh, the officers, if you don't remember. Uh, mm -hmm. Ken Lorenzo, yeah. President, Norm Vice President, Madeline Wilson was our Secretary, Todd O'Connell was the Treasurer, Todd, yeah. uh, Janet Wood, uh, she's now on, I didn't remember this, I thought, I thought Patty Duncan was the uh, Social Territory, right, Janet Wood was, Patty Duncan was Publicity, and then those were the advisors, so, and it's even got more names down here to, to thank, thanks to Jean McKeever, Jean Knott, Narcy right. Emanuel. Perry Carter, Ken Razner, so Perry, Nancy, Nancy, uh, Narcy, I'm sorry, Narcy Emanuel. What was she, Mike? She was, was uh, Dean of Girls. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember she her. She was Dean of Girls. Oh, yeah. Perry I Carter was uh, vocal music, choir. Ken Razner was a uh, band director. Betty Hodge. Yeah. And she was Mr. Betty Escape Hodge. Secretary. Ah, okay. That's right. And, and Audrey Lofstrom. Perry Carter is down here, Yvonne, in case you're interested. He's a, he lives down here in Laguna Niguel. I gave him a cooking class about 10 years ago. And he, tried, really? to, he tried to recruit me to sing. He uh, leads uh, South County Corral or something. But he's still oh, active, okay. he's still active um, teaching, uh, teaching music. Uh, oh. And um, yeah, not not it's in like an academic 80, sense, but there's like how about uh, that? He's like wondering. 85 years old. I looked, was looking him up doing his genealogy. That's what I do. Um, is he? He's not still married, I think, to his wife that he was married to when we were in school. Oh, oh, by no means, Carolyn. <laughs> and she went on, I think, to be a judge oh. up in up in uh, Silicon Valley. She became a judge. Really? Oh, good for her. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, Janet. Hi, Janet. Janet just joined. <laughs> Hi. You're only an hour and a half Hello. late. <laughs> good God, I laid down for a nap, son of a... <laughs> 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 totally forgot. <laughs> Not totally. If you totally forgot, you wouldn't even be here. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but as it is, you made it. Okay, so what, we're done. What did I miss? <laughs> you watched the reruns. I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't start recording at the very beginning when I started saying, so let's remember our, you know, our 50 year anniversary of our graduation. It's like, uh, 10 minutes later I did it. So <laughs> it starts in the middle of some place, but uh, 
you, you, you can watch it. I'll, I'll get it posted. But yeah. Cool. How are you doing? How's your, how's your brother doing? My brother is remarkable. Um, I cannot believe a person that was so close to death that 99%, two of his main veins were completely blocked. Wow. And um, he, had a, he had the triple bypass and he's home and we're celebrating that he's looking really good. That's wonderful. It's a miracle. It really is. But thank Kenny, you. He's great. You are Kenny, you tell him my best to him because I went through the same thing. Oh my God, did you? Oh boy. And did it really take they're saying six months to a year to really get it, it? it took me a year really to feel like I got my body back. I mean, yeah. Now which brother is this? This is not this is not Paul. This is your older brother. This is my other brother, Rodney. He's seventy three years old. Okay. And um but yeah, uh, we picked him up from the hospital four days after he had this operation and we said, no way. And of course we couldn't see him the whole time all this was happening because of the COVID. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. So it was terrible. He was actually in the hospital for 12 days and it drove my sister and I crazy. And my brother, Paul, Paul is in Arizona. So it wasn't like he was real close to us um, mm. in distance like we were. Mm. But, do you, uh, where do you live? I live in Longview, Washington now. Oh, okay. You moved across the river. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I miss my Corvallis, Oregon, though. Oh, I miss it. Yeah. It was a great place to live. Hmm. Did you move to get closer to family? Yeah. Actually, my brother's health started to fail probably four or five years ago. And it was becoming a problem um, going from... Um, Corvallis, Oregon, to where he was living at the time, Woodland, Washington. And I just said, after going back and forth, back and forth so many times, I said, no, I got to get closer. So it's good. Um, so my sister and I both can share in responsibilities on taking care of him. Good. That's mm -hmm. Here you have Are you good people. sisters? Yeah. Well, thank you. We're trying to be. It's, it's, it's very challenging. <laughs> yeah, we've had that you know, conversation today. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. How many, how many people are involved with uh, watching out for uh, ca being caregivers for uh, elderly parents? Well, Raise your wife. Currently or in the past? Oh. Here's <laughs> in the I past. did it in the past. Yeah. 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 Eight years with my mother. Wow. Whoa. So are, do you think you've learned any lessons for then how you want to behave better for your kids when they're taking care of you? There's no question. <laughs> yeah. As long as we remember those things when we get to be yeah. that age. Because you're in your right mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a big one. That's the hard part, yeah. yeah. You know, I ended up taking care of my dad uh, for many years, uh, and then he passed, and, uh, and then years later, I ended up taking care of mom. So I had kind of a double round. There was both. Wow. Things. Right. That's Worked hard. the meat grinder. Yeah. yeah, it's tough. It's, it's a long hard. process. Especially if they have mental, ch or my father-in-law was had dementia, didn't have Alzheimer's, but dementia that screaming all night long and oh, trying yeah. to escape and all kinds of things. And yeah, it was tough, but he, he died in his bed and he was, that's the way he wanted it with his wife by his side. So yeah. that was good, wow. 99 years old, so yeah. I'm this glad. reminds me, it's, it's, it's not serious, but I have to find um, somewhere I have a copy of the senior wills from um, like the last issue of the Rampage. But it's, it's cut out, and I probably will scan it and put it online somewhere. Oh, that would be cool. Didn't but it's like before? senior wills, yes. And I, I think before? Huh? Or didn't we see that? I thought you already had that posted. I may have posted that. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, pull, I'll pull it back up again. The other yeah. thing I just recently did is I found that I have four issues, oops, four issues of the uh, rampage from our senior year. I'm missing quite a few. I actually need uh -huh. to talk to Gail Wesson next time I see her and see if we can get, you know, if anybody has paper copies of it, I was able to scan four of them. And uh, it's pretty, pretty funny to read through those and see who was doing what and, yeah. and who was renowned and, and uh, 
who was having right. to apologize to Bill Thompson for saying he was tackled when he said no, he was simply knocked down by the opposing teammate. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't tackled, he just was, he, he, he fell down. He fell down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll need to dig that one up too. I'm trying to, you know, pull up some things that are more, more relevant to where we are right now, uh, this, this, this time of year and, and uh, in the 50 years to go through that, so. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so good to see you, Janet. Yeah, you'll have to watch the rerun when I'm done here. I will, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Did we lose Mike? Yeah, uh, he's. Sandy? We lost, we lost Mike, yes, we appear to lost Mike. Oh. It's okay. Do you want to know what this is? What is that? Oh, it's a quilt. It's a quilt. Wow. Beautiful. It's what I've been doing in oh. quarantine. Oh, pretty. Wow. Amazing. It's very nice. It's How long did that take to the make? Junk behind it. We well, thought that was your your uh, your uh, your fake background. My you know, fake like background. The beach yeah. or something like that. I thought it was like something, but. Yeah, it's more interesting than anybody else's background, I would say. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. Okay. Do some, between, and I'm working on a, um, Danny, my husband's, Danny's first cousin is actually adopted, and we're this close to figuring out her parents. Oh. Through DNA. So. Uh. Great. I'm busy all of July because I have lots of DNA classes. So, really, wow, wow. that's so cool. Keep busy. Got to keep your brain working. Sure. Yep. So learn something new. But uh, yeah. So. So I'm expecting that uh, John and Mike and Sandy, who left, are gonna <laughs> figure out how to get together and go out yeah. for a beer, right? We're, we're right. gonna have to hear about it. Yeah, then we'll have to report back. Right. So, right. Mike, what's your phone number? Oh. Oh, you're, Mike, you're muted. Tell you what, um, if you want, Am I okay now? if you look over here yeah. in the, uh, there's a chat option yeah. where you can actually chat to the whole group. I haven't pointed that out to anybody, but you can chat to the whole group or you can uh, text basically individually to somebody. But go ahead, Mike, now your mic's working. Anybody's always welcome to call me. And I just got, I don't know if any of you ever knew Ken Dahl. Hadn't seen him, but once in 50 years, we were at Our Lady of Perpetual. I was sentenced to two years at Our Lady of Perpetual Health. Before. <laughs> <laughs> we had hey, Tom is here. Vicky Verani, wow. We got, we got Vicky Verani joining. Hold on, hold on. Oh. We can't hear you yet, Vicky. Can you hear me now? Now we can. Vicky, hello. Hey. hey, you're an hour and a half late, too. Pacific Northwest time. Sorry. <laughs> Janet woke up from a nap 10 minutes ago. How, what's your excuse? I was not napping. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good job. Good to see you, everybody. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. So you missed the, you're going to have to watch the rerun. We'll, we'll, post, we'll post this, and you can look at the, uh, uh, what we recorded the last hour and probably 20 minutes, something like that. But uh, Before awesome. you so what, uh, tell us about your, your situation right now. How long have you been up in, you're in Oregon, right? I'm in the Seattle area. North the Seattle area. Area. Okay. Yeah, I've seen people right. down like in the river, but yeah, okay. Oh, no, She's in the water from Keith and, and yeah. Keith. <laughs> <laughs> and up from Janet, I'm north of Janet. <laughs> it's fun. I really like it up here. My kids were up here. That's why I came. So. Oh. That's yeah, a good reason to move. Yeah. yeah. Never so you, are your kids near you? They are. No, Steve. Oh, I'm sorry. My kids. Are your kids they, in New Mexico? They, they live within, let me think, um, less than five miles from me, both of them. Oh, my, nice. da my daughter's not married. My son's married, has one ch a six-year-old, and then uh, they're both homeowners, and so they're like, they're here. Nice. Nice. So it's, yeah. it's good. Yeah. So I, I didn't move to where my kids are. No. My kids have stayed where we moved to 25, 26 years ago. When so, our, yeah. our kids, I live in Cambria, California. I don't know. Does anybody know where oh, that's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the ocean from my house. 
Um, it, but my kids live in Colorado and Philadelphia. Whoa. And I am not happy about that. <laughs> but you got to go where you got to go. Yeah. Gotta I'm, live here, their lives. I'm, here in, I'm here in Texas and my, my kids are still in California and Idaho. And so, uh, but when I remarried, Paul is from Michigan. So it's kind of halfway. Um, and he's retired from the airlines, so we kind of have flight benefits, so we can kind of go. Well, although we can't go right now, but <laughs> it was it was kind of a compromise when we both retired. So, is that why you picked Prosper? Well, we picked the Dallas area, and Prosper just happened to be a little cheaper north of north of Dallas. So, buy a lot of house compared to what you can get in, the, in Southern California. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I got it. yeah. But I miss the kids and the grandkids and my one grand, great grandbaby uh, that's in, in California. My oldest grandson is, uh, he joined the army like a year ago and he's studying Chinese uh, to uh, uh, be a um, interpreter, I guess it is, and to interpret messages. And so he's in school right now up in Monterey uh, with the great grandbaby. And so uh, I got to see them in November, but I haven't seen them for a while. So I'm... Mm -hmm. A little antsy here in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> my my daughter will be out here next week, so that'll be nice. Oh, good. You met Shannon, Steve, at the at the mission mission oh, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure I have a picture someplace. So. Bye. Hi, Bye, Keith. Bye, Keith. Bye. 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 Now. I'll see you all very soon. It's so cool. Same now, we'll figure out another reason. Figure out another reason. I mean, with, with the turnout we've had, like, you know, 10 to 12 people, I think the most we had was like 20 that one time. That first time. It, it's hard to, hard to say, oh, let's do now all, maybe we can just all choir people or all band people. We'll take a poll. We'll figure out who... Who wants to show up if they're from, uh, you, know, you know, boy sports, you know, so, or Letterman or whatever you want to call it, and, or, uh, you know, try and have something more specific so that'll attract people. It may not attract them, we'll find out. But we'll, we'll do some polling to see if we can figure out who uh, and, and what interest groups would, would attract certain people to actually join in one of these, rather than an unstructured one like this has been. So we'll figure that out. Fun. Still been fun. Good to see you, Keith. <laughs> Good to see you guys. I, I gotta go make Bye. loose dinner. So. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, go make okay. dinner, Mike. It's been Bye. good Bye. seeing you too. And I'll see you, Mike. You I'll left. call you. John, I sent you my number, so take care. I sent you mine too. So yeah, I'll call you, Thanks. Mike. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, Mike. Bye. Bye. It's all about connections from my perspective. It's like, you know. There, there are so many people that I didn't know in high school that I've gotten to know in the last 20 years. And that's been the really awesome thing for me as well. And so, right. like, uh, it's, it's good. So uh, this is all about helping people connect with other people. So, Well, you've done a great job, Steve, over the years. Very good. Yeah. Yes. And someone yeah, was, saying, was, like, was saying, like, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, about uh, making these, these then and now pictures. It's like, it's like, oh, that's because he's retired. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> hey, I have other stuff to do too, but, but uh, my son is the Photoshop expert and he put together the, uh, oh. uh, the frame that it drops in. And he just says, here, just take this as a template and just drop the pictures in and put the name down and boom, there it goes. Oh. So it's, it's pretty that's automatic. Great. But um, yeah, so that's Vicky, good. I need a picture from you. And Annie, I need a picture from you. And John, I need a picture from you. And... <laughs> We'll get stuff put together. Barb. I'll put something together. Yeah, but uh, I've got one for Phil Wright to do uh, that got came from here about an hour and a half before this started. And I said, I'm not going to work on that yet. I'll wait. But uh, I hope to get a whole bunch because it's, it really helps people uh, say, oh, that's what they would look like if I saw them today. Yeah. And that's the way I remember them from... <laughs> Like I said earlier, you know, the locked in your memory, yeah. you, your mental image of these people is from so long ago. And some right. people, the change is dramatic, and others, the lack of change is equally stunning. Uh, it's like, wow. Yeah. Uh, Joanne Bro had one. I said, wait, that is clearly the same person. No. Yvonne has one that's 
clearly the same person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a, uh, it's an, I look, I look different. You know, I could put my, put my glasses on maybe and like look like I did in high school. I don't know. But... I think you look better now. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. You go through awkward. Some people, uh, who put me, uh, said this like, uh, like fine wine? I said, no, it's like uh, uh, Sinatra wrote, you know, vintage wine from fine old casks. <laughs> 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 I'm trying right. to age well. And I having, and everyone's talking about how long they were married. It's like, I'm coming up on five oh, years this Saturday. Congratulations. Congratulations. And having a younger wife helps. Well, and and, the, joke, and the joke we made was that that uh, I rob the cradle and she robs the grave. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a beautiful person, not just beautiful on she, the outside. She's an amazing person, and yeah. uh, and we're actually I don't know if I told you guys before, but uh, we bought a house with a guest house next door, and her folks live in it, oh. and that's a, a double-edged sword. Let me tell you, sure. I got a call. I got a call last night at midnight. It woke me up, and uh, we we have a kind of an understanding now with her folks that they can call their daughter, Krista, uh, but she can choose not to answer. It's like an answer machine. She decides. I said, but if it's a true emergency, call me. So I got a call at midnight, and I, I, I woke up and barely heard it ringing before it rolled over to voicemail. And um, her dad then left a message that was very... Uh, um, Bland. It's like, well, uh, call call me in the morning. It's like, oh. you know. So uh, we usually said, if it's an emergency, call me and I'll answer the phone. But his internet went out, so I spent three hours a day trying to get a, a fix for him, and so he can suck our our Wi-Fi off until the the CenturyLink guy comes by and fixes the wire to stuff tomorrow. But oh. anyway, it's it's. Um, I said, I signed up for this. I knew this yeah. because she's an only child. She's the only person that her parents have. And so they're living in the house next to us. And there's good things and not so good things. But it's overall, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. We're, we're learning as well how we want to be if we don't go senile before then. It's yeah. a blessing. <laughs> it's a blessing. blessing. It okay. is. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So, Anything else tonight? Well, I think I have nope. to feed my family. Feed my family. Yeah. Yeah. My, my adult beverage is almost gone here, but I, that's, not, that's my quota for the night. Annie's trying to say something, Annie's but she's to muted. Talk with her. Annie, you want to talk? Let me open oh. your mic here. Hold on, Annie. You want, you want to say something? Hold on. Unmute you. No, hold on. You're still muted. She is. Yeah. You're still oh. muted. I, there, there we go. go. Yeah. Now yeah. we can hear you. Okay, so uh, I want to thank Steve for sharing and all of you sharing. It's just really been amazing. I was one of the few that went to Ramona the last year of high school. So, and I went to five different high schools. My parents moved around a lot. Oh. So I didn't connect with a lot of students at Ramona. But one of the blessings of Steve has been through all these years, he's kept us together. And um, so I've gotten to know you more after high school than I did at high school. There were so many students and it was my last year. Um, I mean, I was a senior, so I didn't really, you know, get that opportunity to connect with all of you, but I really want to thank all of you for showing up and sharing now. And um, I didn't get to share earlier, but I'm the cyclist, uh, I'm the ultra distance cyclist, as you know. As some of you know, I ride these crazy uh, 200 miles in one day kind of thing. Whoa. Uh, wow. Yeah, I've done 87, actually I've done more, but that aside, um, I also produce three of them, and one of them is gonna be in Oceanside on October the 24th, and I always need volunteers at the rest stops, so you may want to think about, you know, maybe we could have a Ramona High School graduation class come out and volunteer at a rest stop to help feed the riders. I have food and water and, and basically you just make sure that you 
cut up the cantaloupe or, uh, or whatever like that, you know, watermelon or whatever. Um, so if you're uh. in, in Oceanside, because I think, what, some of you are Carlsbad. I'm in Carlsbad. Yeah. Well, we'll look at the map. Well, Annie will actually look at the map and see who all is in that general area <laughs> and see we have yeah. email addresses and, and maybe we can uh, target them and ask them to help. Yeah, that's what yeah, I That'd be fun. So, yeah, it would be fun, wouldn't it, to just get uh, some of you that live in Dana Point or in that area to, to show up for a couple hours at a stop. And um, I mean, it's not a reunion, but still, you know, that's, it's good people there it might be something that would be fun for for you and it, it would be very cool for me to say hey this is the ramona high school you know graduates we'll have to get t-shirts made yeah. <laughs> october what october 7th october 24th 24th okay i'll make a note of that I have another double century I would like to put on, but I have to get approval for it. And it actually does start in Riverside and it goes uh, over to Ballsy and over and up Banning. Um, but I have to get approval, but I decided it would be so cool because it actually starts at one of those huge parks in Riverside where we've had our reunion meeting on a Sunday. At a oh, Fairmont Park? Fairmont Park. And yeah, yeah. And so, and, and it starts because there's a bike path there. And so it starts heading over that way, but but uh, for right now, Oceanside is is a definite. The, the other two I had to cancel. No, uh, the other one I had to. Another one I had to cancel this year because of the COVID thing. But right. so far, Oceanside is on. It's on the. It's on for a green light. Okay. So, I, so I made a note of that. Stay well. Stay healthy. <laughs> okay. Me thanks too. for sharing that, Amy. And yeah. See you later. Thank you. So, okay, we have Vicky, you want to say anything else, or uh, I'm, uh, I don't have to pull the plug yet. Uh, you know, my I dogs are whining at the door, want to get fed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a question for Vicky. <laughs> Hi, Barb. Hi. <laughs> Ashley wants to. Rem oh, she can't remember. She wants to know what grade were you teaching that first year that you taught her class? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Okay, oh. she was thinking it was fourth. No. I don't think so. And when you did student teaching, at what grade? Uh, that was, was a 5-6. That was a 5-6 or and a 1-2. I did student teaching for both. But you taught fifth grade. I taught fifth grade at Washington for 20 years. And then oh, wow. I went to fourth grade the last two years. Okay, okay. Vicki was my daughter's teacher in fifth oh. grade. You have the sweetest daughter ever. I oh. love her. Well, she's still sweet. She had two I of my grandkids, so. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Tell her hi. I will. I will. I remember having classes with you, Vicki. I, I don't know, know which ones they were, but I remember we had classes together, so. We did. It's great to see you. Yeah, nice yeah. seeing you, too. We when you classes. posted the 20, or I mean the two pictures together, you do look the same. You do. In yeah. fact, I cheated a little bit. It's a little bit older. It's about eight years ago. So. Well, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. when, when, women, when women give me their pictures, I don't, I don't say, I need proof that this is actually taken in 2020. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> My, mine originally, I, I had one with my, my my cap on like this <laughs> that was from november of 2018 i thought no i'll go get one <laughs> so i took a picture on sunday so that's a recent picture but and uh, this that's doesn't lie so it's like yeah, that's the way i look <laughs> oh, i don't know vicky if you remember but uh, we had classes at shamawa wow oh, wow <laughs> surname my surname was dennard i do remember your name right. yes yeah. Yes. Red hair. Wow. Yeah, well, it's now strawberry blonde. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. It's whatever it is. It's yeah, right. Gross. I pay extra for these highlights. I'll bet you do. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's Guys why can I don't do have that. a beard. <laughs> oh, but this is this is natural. I mean, I like this this look where it comes down the side like that. It's like yeah. I don't know who does that. 
it would look funny if, you know, that I won't show you the thin spot up here, but uh, that's <laughs> I have one of those too. Yeah, don't we all, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and girls. <laughs> <laughs> what was the movie, the, the fabulous Baker Brothers with the uh, um, Lloyd, not Lloyd Bridges, but Jeff and Bo Bridges. And in one scene, yeah. Bo, the, the, uh, the shorter one, was spraying like the spray on hair on the, the bald spot on the top of his head. <laughs> I laughed back then until I discovered I had one too. So. <laughs> it wasn't so funny. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. That's why I wear a cap. I burn up here. Yeah, yeah, I have to worry about that now too. Yeah. So, anyway, well, you know, all I'm going to check out, um, and it's been great talking with you all again. Um, some of you meeting for the first time, possibly, uh, but I look forward to um, to this sort of a thing in the future. Steve, thanks for organizing this, and thanks for all the work you've done over yeah. the years. Thank you, and Steve. I, I really look forward to an in-person one again. I mean, that's to me. Yeah, that'll be. Fun. That was yeah. the, the the really difficult decision to not do it this year was the fact that so many people had concerns and were reluctant to commit. And I wasn't ready to do something that didn't have everybody um, eager and willing to come. Yeah. And if we only had, you know, we, we could easily have 100, 120 people. If we had like 40 people, to be like, that'd be a disappointment. So yeah. let's, let's keep uh, hoping and praying that we get uh, um, things get better. We get a vaccine and... Uh, uh, the social distancing requirements are, re are reduced or uh, eliminated. Uh, Chris has been making masks from the sewing machine I gave her a while back, so it's like I've got a new fitted mask rather than wearing a bandana across my face. Yeah. But let's hope that we don't right. have to keep doing that right. uh, yeah. uh, uh, on and on without end. I hope we can get this taken care of. But everybody, stay, everybody too. stay safe, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, everybody stay safe. Yes. Yeah. All right. Great to see you all. Okay. Hey, I'm going to actually nice end the recording right here. And uh, uh, let's see if you guys want to stay on. Wait, where's my recording thing? See it's, you later. Here. Take care, <laughs> John. Nice, bye -bye. Nice, bye -bye. nice to see you all. Bye. 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 Thank you.